Welcome to video for the design style .com. I'm back with a Windows build video. This time we're looking at 24H2. This is the new update that's just out for Windows 11 or just about to come out for Windows 11. This video I'm looking at what's new for people running Windows. There are some things new for uh, Copilot uh, laptops. So if you've got one of the new surfaces, there's a whole load of AI stuff in there. But I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at what will you get when you get this update on your machine. I'm using a dev build it's not been released at the time i record the video but this will be pretty much what you get so these are the main features they're not all of them the main sort of highlights that uh, i wanted to talk about so you'll notice microsoft have changed copilot as well recently so that it's now a pwa app a standalone app rather than a docked app at the side they've actually rolled this out to the other the other channels as well but it was first seen here on the 24h2 so you can see it's essentially just a web page now. So it was a sidebar and they've moved it across into the into a, a web page. So another change is in File Explorer. You've got some files like that. You can multi-select them, right click and do compress to. And then as well as being able to do zip, which you've been able to do for years, you can now do a 7-zip or a tar file. Um, so that's just an extra option that was in there. You could always um, extract them since 23h2 but now you can uh, you can create them as well so if you right click you can see the cut copy and paste are up there at the top now with labels on them which is a bit clearer before they didn't have the, the labels on there so that's clearer to see another change is down here on the um, quick actions you've now you can see you can scroll down between them I go back to my other machine you see that wasn't there and that isn't there on the current builds this is the new builds and you've got the option to page those up and down incidentally uh, this is a virtual machine so i can't show but on the wi-fi if you've got wi-fi enabled you could there's a refresh option on the wi-fi to uh, rescan for uh, for new connections you'll notice as well the date and time has been simplified so it takes up less space i'm not sure um Everybody likes that, but it, it does make sense when I mean, you kind of know the year already, don't you? So you probably don't need to know that. You probably might not remember the day, but not the, the year. I think you can probably remember. So that does take up less space. Another new feature actually that's quite interesting is here in the sound settings. Uh, because it's a virtual machine, it's disabled on my device, but they're actually improving the AI background noise reduction, uh, the audio. So things like Teams already does this, but this is just be built into the microphone. So you've got that noise reduction on there. So that's a new feature that was previously only available to certain uh, service devices, but now that's rolling out to all devices. Here you'll see the new energy mode that you can turn on so that this um, is a way of reducing energy consumption, whether it's a PC or a laptop or a desktop uh, device, whether you've got battery or not. So it's a way of reducing the energy consumption from by Windows. So sudo is a new command that's in there. This is like the Linux uh, command so it gives you elevated permissions you can run it in line you can run it in a new window but it goes through the the, uh, the prompt and then runs the command so you can do like sudo dir any any commands you can run applications or whatever and i can do it in a new window there's a couple of interesting things in there there's now a single version of teams which you can switch between the different uh, tenants your personal your, and your your work one there's little things like the network icon when you connect through Wi-Fi. It shows that it's trying to connect to little visual changes like that. And there's uh, improvement in the Windows update procedure as well. So those are the main changes. There's not a huge amount with this 24H2. These yearly updates from, from Microsoft, they used to be a big change in Windows. Now Windows 11 is mature. We just get these um, incremental updates. So those are the main things that I've found so far. If, you, if I've missed any, please leave a comment. Let me know. You can email me, email this lifestyle comment. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.